Hi, I'm Xanibar Pixelbottom from the Alchemy Viewer team, and I'm here to teach you about probes. Probes can make the difference between a scene looking lovely like this, and a scene looking not so lovely. And I'm here to help you avoid this. But first, let's turn probes back on, and let's go up to our test build. Uh, first things first, let's use a neutral lighting, like midday. And this is the scene we have so far. As you can see, it looks okay, but as you can notice, there's something strange. Because we have no probes in the scene, we are using the fallback probe, or also called the sky probe. It's a little too bland, and does cause some issues where, for example, my avatar looks just a little strange, but there's also no detail in these metal reflections. But more glaringly, this is a very bright cave. But with probes, we can fix that. Now, what is a probe? The best way I can describe a probe is it is a prim that takes a 360 snapshot from its center and then uses that data to influence anything it touches. So first, let's get the big giant main probe for this sim up and run for this uh for this scene up and running we'll go to our build menu res out a prim and then we'll go to the features tab and then we'll click reflection probe as you can see it's automatically changed it into an invisible sphere because we're by default it is set to sphere because this is going to be the big outdoor probe this is actually perfect for what we need so now, we need to scale it up, and by quite a bit. So, scale this up, and as you can see, the moment it starts touching the scene, the scene starts to dramatically change in lighting. This is because the probe is now influencing the scene. Okay, so we're a little off-center, so we should probably adjust just a smidge. There we go. It's going to be an eye-level scene, so we don't really need to worry about the rear-facing parts of those rocks. Okay, let's see, that looks good. And let's see where it is. We could probably bring it down just a little bit. And there you go, and as you can see, just from that probe alone, the scene has dramatically changed. You can see my test sphere, you can actually see the scene in it. And this arch over here, and more importantly, this wall over here now has a very good looking reflection. You can even see the tree line a little bit in it. And the cave is, darker but it's still a little too dark for what we want oh well, not well not dark a little too bright for what we want so all we have to do is add another probe so we just go to the same steps go to the features tab click reflection probes and then we start rescaling it and oh and if you ever lose track of your probes you can all make sure you have reflection probes ticked in this box right here or in build options, uh, make sure select reflection probes is enabled. By default, this is usually disabled because it makes it harder to alt cam around when this is enabled. Another option to, sh and if you don't know where a probe is, you can do control alt T to show transparency, which you'll see these little uh, red, this little red orb, and also this big red orb. Or, you can go to build options and show reflection probe volume. So you see it becomes this little yellow orb and likewise with this reflection probe here. But we don't quite need that right now so we can actually disable that. All we need is select reflection probes. So let's start scaling this up. As you can see the moment it starts touching the part of the cave, it becomes dark. Quite dark indeed. Which you'd expect out of a cave. Yeah, let's position a little bit more. Uh, let's see. A little bit downwards. Yeah, probably needs to be just a bit bigger. As you can see. So, as you can see, probes do uh, bleed into each other pretty well. Especially sphere probes do. Uh, box probes, which I'm not going to show in this are a little iffy, they require a little more finagling. Uh, sphere probes are generally what I recommend because they blend so much better. You can't even tell that it's that much darker up here. 
And since in this particular scene you're not going to be seeing that top of the cave, that's kind of fine, to be honest. Okay, so let's move this over a bit. So as you can see, there's a little bit of light leakage on both sides. So what we can do is we can move this over here to make it darker. I'm going to check over here to make sure it's not too terribly dark. No, that's fine. And then, like other prims, you can just a hold shift and drag it, and it will make a copy with the exact uh, settings that that probe has. It's very useful if you need to um, probe a very large area with similar size of probes and settings. It can make your life way easier when doing that by just shift, drag, and copy. All right, let's move this a little bit more. Uh, that's good enough. All right. And now this cave is looking definitely like a cave now. And we can actually test out the, these new probes by going inside. As you can see, as I go inside, this test sphere shows that we're actually now starting to see the interior of the cave. It's far from perfect, but that's the important thing to know about uh, reflection probes, is they're not supposed to be perfect, they're supposed to be good enough. If you need to be good, if you need perfect reflections, that's what mirrors are for. I will show the mirrors in another video at some time, but I just we just wanted to work with just the basic probe behavior like this. But yeah, that's how you make probes. That's how you probe up a scene to look as good as possible for PBR content. And I hope you've learned something today. Thank you for taking the time to look at this video, and have a good day.